Hello and welcome back to another tutorial of Actually Edition. Today we will be looking basically on the Atomic Reconstructor, which can uh, be very useful and you will need it uh, when you're working with this mod pack. So, first you will need to make an iron casing just like before. Put in iron bars in the corners, sticks, and the black quartz in the middle, you get the iron casing. Then you'll need some redstone and some more iron bars. Put the iron bars in the corner again and put the redstone beside them and the iron casing in the middle. And you get the atomic reconstructor. Then you will need a redstone and a button. I recommend you doing this. You will need redstone torch. But so we will put it down here. The atomic reconstructor. It will face the way you're looking. Right click and put set it to pulse. Take your button and put it on side, on top, wherever you want it. So you can see the code generator is uh, draining and the atomic reconstructor is gaining power. It will use power uh, at least 1000 uh, crystal flux each time it shoots and it will use more depending on what it's doing. <clears throat> so when you go here you can see um, the recipe and when you go behind here you can see some different recipes. If you go here to reconstruction, there are some more. I don't remember uh, there are any any more recipes, but there could be. So I will just take some stuff and show you how it's done, how it works. Normally it will shoot out a colorful, I think, red beam, but with this texture pack, there is no beam. You can't disable the beam in uh, settings, so it's not, not a loss. So, you take it, throw it in, you activate it, you see it pops out. So, I think it has a range of around 5 or 6 blocks. Uh, I think it says here too, but I'm not sure. Uh, no, it does not. Okay. There, is, there are some lenses you can make to alter the function, but I will go. I will make a tutorial later on with the lens because you will need some uh, some materials that we have uh, don't have access to yet. So I will try the two, four, six. Try and throw some stuff here. That activates. Then we will take some rotten flesh and we will say two, four, six, eight. Rotten flesh. And it turns into leather. And we will take the mushrooms at 10. So it doesn't activate on 10. So we will try and drop it on 9. Not on 9. So eight, eight blocks. That's the range. Apparently not. Seven. Maybe it's not. Ha doesn't have enough power. Ah, it doesn't have enough power. Okay. What if we drop one mushroom? You see, it doesn't activate when it doesn't have enough power. So the mushroom takes a lot of power. So let's take some more redstone. I think I have some redstone here. Let's test it out to find the range. So we say 10, 9, and we know 8. Oops. So it activates on 10. I don't think the range is more than 10. So that's it. 
The mushrooms will turn into nether warts, as shown here. Nether mushrooms to nether wart. Doesn't matter which mushroom. The sand will turn into soul sand. The rotten flesh to leather, as I uh, as I shown. The redstone turns into these redstonia crystals, and lapis turns into palace crystals. And you will need those for some um, for some recipes later on when we begin to get to the more advanced uh, machines. This is just for getting started. So that's it for this tutorial, and see you in the next one.